I remember the Fox fanfare. And when you're sitting in a single screen house with anywhere from 800 to 1,000 people with this massive wall-to-wall -wall screen, it's, it's pretty heady stuff. And then the blue that said, you know, a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away, and the screen went black. And then, bam! I was 13 years old when I saw Star Wars for the first time at the Valley Circle Theater on opening day, May 25th, 1977. We'd never seen a line for a movie, let alone one that wrapped all the way around the building. And then when we showed up, we were the first ones at the theater in San Diego on opening day. There were always lines. We were always waiting in line to the point where we had our own line sitting equipment. We would bring lawn chairs. We would bring decks of cards. We would bring other things to occupy ourselves with. It was very hard to get good photos of various costumes from various angles. So we would actually go and watch it with a sketch pad in hand and track a particular costume through the whole movie and take sketches of it. The basic thing is, is a sense of community for us because we knew everybody at that line, at that theater, at any time, night or day, were fans like us. And we, we wouldn't be subject to ridicule or disparaging remarks because we're all there for the same thing. This amazing movie that brought us together and made us a fandom to be reckoned with, basically. I was 12 years old when Star Wars came out in, in 1977. And I think that was the, the perfect age to see Star Wars. Even though we're dealing with lightsabers and blasters and aliens and other worlds, it looked real and it made you think it was real because it's like, that ship is filthy. Look at the X-Wings. I mean, would you really, you know, want to fly in that? I uh, grew up in the United Kingdom. I was nine years old when um, what we now know as episode four, A New Hope dropped. Uh, what was interesting about the UK is at that time we got all of our big movies at least six months later than uh, the US. And so we had an additional six months plus of hype and marketing and so, by the time the movie actually came out and I got to see it, I was on the, the verge of exploding. But it did change my life. Hi, I'm Yazdi Patavala, and um, I was about nine years old when I first, first watched Star Wars. It was at the Sterling Cinema in Mumbai, in India. I remember uh, just being in awe of it. And I'd gone to see, watch the movie with my, with my family, and I think when I was that age, uh, at least in India, you never went and watched with your friends or your neighbors. You always watched with your family. And I first saw Star Wars when I was 12 years old. We tried to see it at a movie theater, but we were unable to because it was just sold out. It was constantly sold out. So my father in his wisdom packed us all up into his Grand Prix and took us to the Mission Bay drive-in. I imagine it was kind of torturous for my parents because we, the kids, we were just amped. We were so excited. People knew how to react instinctively. When Darth Vader appeared out of the steam and smoke from the blasting open that, that door, you figured he was bad and everybody was booing and hissing. Boo, you know, and, the, and, the, and that was just like, oh, I'm not the only one that wants to make noise at this. Yeah, boo! I mean, how many years later? And I can still be all enthusiastic about it because I still remember how cool that was.